So hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our June series Tech Talk, Ensuring Resilient IT Operations. Today we're gonna to be covering our latest, one of our latest capabilities within the IT Operations Management Visibility SKU, and that is TLS Certificate Management. My name is Robin Cincinnati, and I'm a solution architect within the IT Transformation Organization here at ServiceNow. And today we're gonna to be covering the following. So we're gonna be covering what is a TLS certificate, our TLS certificate management capabilities. I'll provide a live demonstration and also leave you with some additional collateral. But before we begin, I need to present the safe harbor notice as forward looking statements may be made within this presentation and should not be solely used in decision making. So let's begin with what is a TLS or SSL certificate? Well, SSL is actually the older terminology, but we're still talking about the same thing when we talk TLS or the new terminology, which is transport layer security. It puts the S in the HTTPS. These certificates provide data privacy and ensures data integrity. And they help online customers to positively identify and trust websites. So why are we so concerned about these certificates? There are significant business problems that can occur when using TLS certs. These certificates have an expiration, so it isn't a set it and forget it type of an item. These certificates need to be managed. Not having visibility into their expirations can lead to service outages. In the case of Microsoft Teams recently affecting 20 million active users, Teams was actually down for seven hours as a result of an expired certificate. Expired certificates can also become a security nightmare, as in the case of the Equifax breach a few years ago, when unencrypted PII data was extracted out of its intended environment and caused a massive data breach spanning over 19 months. So we should ask ourselves, isn't it important to have visibility into what certs might be expiring within the next 30, 60, or 90 days? Isn't it important to know whether or not certificates are self-signed or signed by a certificate authority? Isn't it important to know who owns and pays for these certificates? So these tasks might seem easy if you're only dealing with a handful of certificates, but as the numbers grow from 10 to 100 to thousands of certificates, manual administration of these certificates isn't effective and the risk of exposure increases significantly. So in order to address these challenges, ServiceNow has created new workflows for the PKI or Public Key Infrastructure Team to provide lifecycle operations around these certificates. The benefits include blind spot detection of expiring certs, insight into certificate inventory, ITM, ITSM workflows in the form of certificate request fulfillment and certificate renewal tasks, and full impact analysis or full stack visibility into what certificates are affecting what services. So let's look at this in more detail. We start with providing crucial visibility of certificates from within the ITOM visibility SKU. We're able to discover certs via port, URL, and certificate authority, and I'll be providing more detail around this shortly within our demonstration. We're also providing out-of-the-box workflows for request fulfillment and renewals. In addition, TLS CERT management includes a PKI team workspace to be able to visualize the renewal pipeline and provide insights into what might be affected when certain certificates expire. Lastly, automated incident creation is available for expired certificates. TLS certificate management is available within the ITOM visibility SKU starting with our Orlando release. The Certificate Inventory Management is a store release and can be downloaded from the same. But before we dive into the demo portion of this session, I'd like to spend a few more minutes reviewing the capabilities 
within the solution in more detail. First, let's talk about the discovery of certificates. We can gather the certs from a certificate authority. Today, we support GoDaddy and DigiCert out of the box. Next up will be Sec2Go and Intrust. We can discover certs via URL provided, and I'll demonstrate how that can be done during the demo portion of this session. Discovery of certs can also be done via IP or port-based discovery as we utilize the Shazam probe to accomplish this. Typical ports we look for out of the box are these listed on the right-hand side of the slide. Secondly, from a request management perspective, the Store app provides out-of-the-box request workflow for new or renewed certificates. Third, the new capability provides both proactive and reactive measures in the form of task management to handle upcoming expirations of automated and automated incident creations as well that capture expired certificates for reactive actions. Our customer, Red Hat, was an early adopter of TLS certificate management. If you didn't know, there was an issue with Let's Encrypt a few months back. Since Red Hat had full visibility using TLS cert management, they were able to quickly see that they had 47 sites using certs from Let's Encrypt. It only took a few seconds to run that report and provide information back to their InfoSec group for remediation. Okay, let's dive into my Orlando instance to become a little more familiar with the, the CERT management capabilities. So let me switch to my demonstration. So once the discovery plugin is activated and the store app for TLS CERT management is installed, you'll see uh, within your ServiceNow instance uh, a new section for, cert, for certificate management here on the left-hand side, which includes a certificate management dashboard for the PKI team. The certificate tasks that are created, uh, discovery of URLs, which I will show you here shortly, and then we can also see the unique certificates and the installed certificate records. So let's first start out with discovery. So let's talk about IP based discovery first. In order to turn on the certificate discovery within your normal uh, operations of, of, uh, of the discovery process, you'll need to turn on this TLS SSL CERT port probe. When you get in there, you set it to active and update the record. Once we do that, the certificates will be discovered during your normal IP-based or port-based runs. So for the example, I have a uh, on-demand discovery job that runs in my lab environment here at ServiceNow. And once I turn that TLS probe on, you can see my last discovery status run. And we can see that using the Shazam probe, it's capturing certificate chains. Next, I'd like to show you how you can use the URL-based discovery. So let's take, for example, Spotify. So Spotify is a HTTPS secure connection. And we can see here that they're using DigiCert. We can also see the, the valid to and from dates for this certificate. And we'll pull back all of these details as well. This is public facing information, right? So what we can do is we can come back here the first thing we'll do is do a um, source. So we're going to add a new source. And we're going to put in the URL for Spotify and submit that. Once we do that, then we can go to our discovery schedules. And I have a discovery schedule already set up to do certificate discoveries for URL based. So once we come in here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the certificate URL that we're going to discover.
Um, there it is. Okay. So let me remove this one and let me put in Spotify. And we'll save that. Now we can go ahead and discover that URL. And it doesn't take very long, but the discovery has started. And the state is now completed. So now we've discovered that certificate. Next, I'd like to show you the uh, request. So when you install the application from the store, you'll also now see in your service catalog uh, another subcategory for certificate management. And you'll see that there are two new request items for renew certificate and request new certificate that can be used directly out of the box. Next, I want to go back to our certificate management dashboard and review what information is here for the PKI team. First off, we can see upcoming expirations. So we have visibility into what's going to be expiring within the next 30, 60, 90 days. Uh, if there are certificates that are going to be expiring within the next 30 days, we set tasks to a priority one so that we can go ahead and we can work on those uh, first thing. You also see that we have uh, the number of open uh, new request tasks that came from our catalog, as well as any open renewal tasks that need to happen. When we drill down into the priority one tasks, we'll notice that we have these, uh, these CERT tasks here. And if I drill into this one, we'll be able to view this information. So we now see that this particular task has been assigned to the ITOM Rockstar support group and an approval was requested to, for this renewal. We can drill into the record even further here for this configuration item and we can see that the state is installed. We can see the valid to and from dates are the serial number uh, fingerprint information, as well as the signature algorithm down here. And more importantly, since we're talking about visibility, is we're going to be able to take a look of what it's going to be impacting upstream. So this particular DigiCert certificate resides on this Linux server, which is associated to our application service rewards processing. So if we have an expired cert, we have a risk here involved with our rewards processing service. We also see that we have an incident created because this particular cert was uh, already expired. So we can go ahead and we can take a look at the incident that was created for this as well. So let's go back to our dashboard. And view the certificate inventory tab. And we can see here that we have 284 unique certificates. Uh, we can also see that we've discovered 117 new certificates within the last 30 days. And if you recall what I mentioned earlier about Red Hat's use case on being able to quickly identify what was uh, using Let's Encrypt as the root issuer. We can see here that we can just quickly drill down into that issuer and find all of the particular sites that are using Let's Encrypt. So let me go back to our presentation and let's recap what we just saw. So first I showed you how we can discover TLS certificates. My examples were IP or port based using the Shazam probe. We also demonstrated a URL discovery for the certificate. We can also get the information from your uh, certificate authorities. Again, DigiCert and GoDaddy are out of the box today. 
And we can also upload certificate information from a file. I then showed you how we can digitize the workflow with the request fulfillments and the renewals within the service catalog, and also how we create those tasks to be able to prioritize and identify the certificates that need to be worked on quickly. Next, I demonstrated the PKI team workspace that gives you information about the tasks at hand, as well as what certificates may be up for renewal within the next few months. And lastly, we looked at incident creation for an expired TLS cert. Here are some additional collateral that are available to you. Uh, um, as I mentioned earlier, this application is, uh, is on our store. We also have information uh, uh, in our um, community. There's a blog out there for TLS certificate management. Our doc site has a full section around certificate inventory management and how to set it up. We have a white paper in our resource center on TLS certificate management. And lastly, we have a course within Now Learning for Certificate Inventory and Management Administration.